So, um, let's get to work now, shall we? There was something that I did a week and a half back that I wasn't able to finish because my whole computer just froze because it overheated because I didn't have my fan on in the other side of the room. I might um, and I said I was going to do it offline. I never found the time to do it, so we're going to do it now on stream here. It required a green screen, which we do have. This is what it looked like. This was our own stream in which we went through all of the ways Marvel trailers have lied in the past, all the different techniques that they use with all the different formats, all the different things that were wrong. Drax isn't in that scene. That, we don't know, we will do war. Well, there, that was when we started going into the trailers. There's no Loki in this Loki shot. This line isn't said like this, etc, etc. Et and we did that to try and extrapolate that information onto trailers that hadn't come out just yet, including the Hawkeye trailer and the Eternals trailer, but we weren't able to finish before, excuse me, before we got to the Spider-Man trailer, which was the big one everyone was hoping for. So now, finally, we're officially going to do that. But this is the wrong screen. I need to change the background for this. The format doesn't look exactly perfect just because it has been a hot minute. I, like, I'm at the top of my head is <laughs> visible. You can see the cut. Either way, let me give you the very quick rundown of all the different types of lies there are. And then we will uh, extrapolate that onto the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. I don't think anyone's tried to predict where the lies are specifically. And I do have a whole slideshow for it. So let me get you into that now. Here's how it works. How Marvel trailers lied to you. The Spider-Man edition. First things first, we've seen this shot with this guy. He is a very prominent character. He's not. He appears in one shot saying, Go Spider-Man! There's something missing in this shot. It's his webbing. His webbing is full on, just not there in the main thing, in the trailer. So we're going to keep an eye out for any examples where there might be webbing, where there should be and there isn't. Similarly, this is the final shot of the very second movie, I think. Doesn't have, doesn't have, if I get out of the way, doesn't have Aunt May in it. It's a complete spoiler for the sequel, it's like sequel bait about revealing his identity. Unused, don't know where we'll find that in context of this next trailer, but keep an eye out for sequel bait. I have a theory about some sequel bait in Spider-Man No Way Home, so you'll see it in a bit. Similarly, some lines are going to be played around with. In this, Tony Stark says, I'll stop, you know, don't worry about the flying winged guy or something like that. When actually it's, don't worry about the flying vulture guy. He says his name in the actual movie and it's not said here. It's said in an entirely different context when he's flying as an empty suit. This is a big old money shot. Never trust a money shot from a Marvel movie. Doesn't exist and it won't. Any Marvel, any uh, money shots, ain't gonna happen. Similarly, this is a bit of a small one, more like a deleted scene. This is the explosion of an elevator from the big old tower. We do see the elevator get dropped. We do see Spider-Man save people in this scene. There are people at the bottom of this tower, but we don't actually see this exact shot where it actually lands and there's repercussions with the public. Uh, this whole shot, this is a real scene, but it is not a real element of the scene. It was filmed on set for a fake moment where Aunt May is saying you don't have to have the identity, the world on your shoulders, talking as if she knows his identity when the whole film she doesn't. So, entirely out of context. He is upset in the scene, but for a completely different reason. Uh, this is a tiny one. Spider-Man swerving into the pool is inverted. In the real thing, he goes from left to right. And then there's a bit of topless marketing, which we've seen in all sorts of other Marvel things. We've seen it with Thor, seen it with Gamora, very out of place. Seen it with Chris Pratt, Star-Lord, we've seen it with all of them. Doctor Strange, they've all been topless. Tom Holland is not the only one to have that. Uh, this is a deleted scene from the sort of prologue openings with him fighting a bunch of villains and then saying, I'm going on holiday to the police. Uh, and then... Oh yeah, okay, I was like, this is from the new movie, it's not. This is the final sequence scene from Spider-Man No uh, Far From Home. But it plays off like this is the beginning with him swinging around with the phone. Nope, it's the end. So we've got to keep an eye out for the last scene in these trailers. It's common, it's popular. Uh, Nick Fury in this says uh, he's, from our, he's from Earth, just not our Earth. In the real thing, he says he's from our world, not yours. Kind of hiding the fact that he could be a scroll to us fans. Here is an early version of the storm around London. Doesn't have a face, but it's completely fake. The CGI is a little early built. And final one. I don't remember what it was about this scene. Uh, him saying I'm sticky maybe, or oh, it's a match cut to him seeing Mysterio for the first time down on the ground doing like a big money shot. When in reality, he's, he's just on the roof, just like, just like over here. So the context of where he's looking is completely different. 
And that is how Marvel trailers lie to you, specifically in the Spider-Man edition of events. Does that make sense? Spider-Man is also normal, shown in his older suits to not spoil his new suits. Absolutely. Let us now, with all of that in mind, remember every little detail I just said. We're now going to try and go through this slowly, chronologically, to see anything that could be misconstrued, all right? This so far oh, this? This looks one. normal to me, Some right? suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. I think, uh, what? like, yeah, Some I don't think there's much to see here. Spider minion? Parker's no, I, I think even, like, the newspaper could be faked a little bit. I don't think it's... I don't think so. It is so crazy down there. All right. Uh, I think we saw the shot earlier, didn't we? This was in the last movie. This scene, at the very least, this is the sequence that's probably at the beginning of the movie. It is an extension directly from the end of the last. Yeah, I think we saw a shot like that. Um, so yes, Jay Jonason in the tower, still in a black suit. Makes sense. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The yeah, drones no, that looks cool. Yours. I like a small thing there would probably be those scene those two shots of the other way around. Or something, like it is a small thing doesn't matter. Hmm. I'm gonna hyperanalyze anything. Everything. This scene could have a fake sky. Or a fake Avengers Tower in the back. Oh, I can't zoom in all the way. Fake sky! <laughs> fake Avengers Tower, which isn't used anymore. But then again, it does look pretty dusty with the lighting, so it's probably fine. But I'm gonna overanalyze it. This is the third one. Yes, the third movie. Yes. We wouldn't, wouldn't be worth breaking down a Spider-Man trailer from the past. We're trying to predict where the lies are going to be going forwards. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? Do any part of you feel relieved about all this? That sounds like a logistical line. About all this. What do you mean? Uh, there was something about this I was thinking was suspicious. But I don't know what. What do you mean? I think potentially like maybe the what do you mean could be a different conversation, but uh, at most because it's like a reveal or something on the phone, but maybe not. Now that everybody knows you don't really have to hide or lie to people. Oh, was that Flash in the background looking really smug that he knew Spider-Man? Lie. With blonde hair? I'm not sure what I'm seeing. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. And how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? So yeah, this will be the end of that first scene where he's up at the top. At most, uh, they wouldn't the have spider webs lingering, actually. Like, it's possible there could be spider webbing here, but you usually don't kind of see it how lingered after he's swiped with them. Um, I'm trying to think, as well, there's a lot of things in general Marvel traders is like, if there's a gap, like, you know, this doesn't look very central. But, it could also just be because there's a helicopter here that is kind of centralizing the whole shot. So, there might not be as many fake lies in this trailer, but also we could be incredibly wrong. The earlier traders usually have more lies than the later ones. Half the time. I think, easily, TV here. Oh man, I can't point. It's such a pain. TV here, I think, could be fake. It's actually something else. Um, I mean, it's Betty Brand outside the school. So it would make logical sense, um, but I could see it very easily being something else. To spoil something, or to stop spoiling something, but possibly not. Probably not. But this is about me this is a weird shot i just realized like the swarming in um at the very least so someone now enters their house and everyone not actually process this properly so they're watching jay jonason great on tv gotta love but that uh lights about everywhere me. all the time someone ba oh it might be the police banging at the door for the first time yeah that's first night people. people imprisoned and getting interrogated i've just um hold on I'm trying to see if anything else is suspicious. Like, empty chair? I guess that's fine. People. Who's he looking at? Like, maybe they'll be in shot. Because also we've seen in, uh, in... Shang-Chi, they were zoomed in a shot to cut out someone on the edge before. I've just been thinking... So far, it looks pretty clear. about how to fix all of this. Right. It's telling us that the match cut is to that, and it seems very, very logical. But it could also be looking at someone else. He's he's at a ca is he in a cafe or is he in school? I can't tell. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. Looks legitimately enough. But he could come to it without so staring at a thing like that. Um. Ooh. Spider-Man composed onto this. Yeah, 
Yeah, that looks pretty dodgy. D am I the only one that thinks this? He looks a bit faked. Fix all of this. I feel like it might not actually have Tom Holland here. Maybe it does. With a little scratchy. But it could very, like, that easily looks like a comp an early composition effect on him. I'm just going to try and predict that there are lies. So I'm going to suggest this establishing shot happens. Maybe there even is a walking shot with Tom Holland, but I don't think they connect. Why not? We'll plug so that Peter. as one. Well. Um, I thought the same thing, actually, especially there's a more egre egregious case of this in a moment. Um, so the doors open. What do I owe the pleasure? So, Peter. Try to think, does anything look suspicious in this shot? No. There could be some CG stuff spinning around because it's a doc like, you know, Doctor Strange's place, but maybe what not. Do I owe this. This is an... Look at how feathered... And weird the hair is Pleasure. for this though. I'm like it could be real, but it really looks composited to me. So Peter. Like forget that one. What do I this. Like it, like look at the like the 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 out I can't point. Look at the outline of this dude. It feels it, I feel like this could very easily be a normal establishing shot, and they've just green screened a Tom Holland walking cycle on top of it. First major prediction would be that one, personally. Um, anything else? The spading, a floating Doctor Strange. Plausible, kind of money shuddy, but like, this just doesn't look like, this frame, this picture, doesn't look right. He's too feathered around Pleasure. everything. I'm sorry to And he might look better in, uh, better later CG, or he's just not in it, you know? I think you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay. He just throws a fireball? Hey. Sure, I'll allow. Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. Yeah, legitimate, sure. When Mysterio in a fully black suit now, identity. okay. My uh, spider web missing, maybe? No, it's about fine. When He's running away from nothing, Mysterio but maybe they're just not in shot yet. Identity. My entire life got screwed up. Yeah, that's them first getting clobbered at the end of the first, second movie. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Uh, his. Screwed up. It's a. Uh, wondering if maybe you could make it so that. Oh, no, no, his arms look the same. Never did. Strange. There is CG missing in this shot. Like he's just standing naturally. No, he's gonna have green energy around him all the time. Certain Don't of that. Cast that spell. It's too dead. They're both a couple dweebs. These two. So of course they're gonna be misbehaving Fine. all the time. I won't. The entire world is about. Forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Ooh, the CG on his hand looked a little early. Forget that Peter Parker Maybe is Spider-Man. His hand is glowing a lot. I feel like that's some early CG. Sorry, I'm in the way for that one. And so is the microphone. Spider-Man. Wait. Well, just imagine the hand looks a little bit early. Everyone. That was very minimal hand CG on his hand. I think a lot of early okay, CG could be in here. Know. That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through. Stop tampering with the spell. I think also with this, uh, there's a lot more conversating going on to tamper with the spell. Like he might say, I wish in the middle rather than just, you know. Yeah, it might have more effects than this, definitely. Oh my God, Ned, he's my best friend. Bro, my Aunt May should really stop talking. Oh, wait, what just, is that just, was that just rock that fell off in this corner? Yes, it is, it was just rock. Oh, I just realized it all goes into that square that we see in like the thumbnail. Um, Bro, my Aunt May should really stop talking. There it is, into that box. That box is the source of all the knowledge, I guess. That box is going to be like the uh, MacGuffin of this movie. I feel. And yeah, like it creates a universe in it. What? Just oh, I didn't see that box again? Okay. Tampered with the stability of space time. Oh no, okay. Uh, well, for a start, that's a match cut. We tamper with the I would, uh, maybe. Because I feel like he could swing. Space time. Yeah, because that looks different. He's jumping through a mirror dimension there. So, match cut there. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly level. A hint for, uh, Electro there, which needs more electricity. More blue, I imagine. I half feel like Doctor Strange is evil in this with all the faces he's making. Hey, what do I know? 
Like, like it looks villainous. That looks like an attack, you know? The problem is you trying to live two different lives. The problem is you trying to live two different lives. Do you think that's... Trying to live two different... Before or after everything's happened? Lives. He's so aggressive, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yes, he's got his hand on the box of knowledge that all this information just got sucked into. If he gets a box, he gives it to someone, they get all the knowledge. That was a random guess. For Longer... Uh, big ol' iron spider suit. Alright. There is a thing that we said. Um, early suits, potentially, are coming off here when they have your later suit. But, I mean, this looks like a shot specifically with the spider legs, so who knows. It. But it's not a very good reveal. We've seen the spider legs before. You know, maybe it's against... I guess it might be because it's against uh, Octavius. So it is like four or eight legs versus eight legs, I guess is the idea. Who knows? More dangerous it becomes interrogating happy here you think at this point the suit's gonna be black and gold ah all right what was that i don't remember that shot what's he what what came for him More dangerous sorry for the sound like he's at a he's got a suit on what is that has that been registered before oh well a hint for sandman as well as more Electro, I guess. Oh, and I just realized Spider-Man's there in his black suit right at the front. Okay. It's Venom. Oh, really? That's, a, that's the Venom hint as well? My goodness. A green goblin hint, of course. Be careful and what then... you wish for, Parker. Uh, same night for Venom, I guess. Wait, hold, uh, no, 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 no. Hmm. Hello, Peter. A lot of people have been hinting, suggesting that this is not the same matchup. And that he's talking to a different Peter. Hello, Peter. Because it's very blue skies there and very grey skies earlier, I don't know. And this, yeah, he like, becomes a different suit, maybe it's a different suit. There's no spider webbing to be of notice of. Ah. Man, that's harder to pick. But we got a handful there. I didn't write them down in notepad form, but uh, Ben, thank you for watching this. Can you cut every definitive lie we predicted? Put them all in a compilation at the end now. Thank you very much, Ben. I appreciate that. There is one thing I do have as a general point prediction I do have for this movie. Everyone is hyped for there to be three Spider-Men, and they haven't shown it yet. And everyone's still umming and ahhing about it. I, however, think the three Spider-Men will be in this, or at least two will be, but it's for the sequel after. I think that the three Spider-Man thing is sequel bait that we are asking for so that there's gonna be the enemies from these movies, this movie, and then the end credit scene will then hint, ah, now you've dealt with the multiverse villains, now you can have the multiverse Spider-Man. So we're putting a lot of hype into it. We're not gonna get what we want, but we're gonna be told that we're going to get what we want straight afterwards so that we go with it and that is the uh the plan there uh, that's my that's my prediction um so not really real sequel bait did any of this look like the final shot of the whole thing Hello, probably not like that could be the <laughs> that could be the final shot which would be absolutely awful but i doubt it uh that hmm no because that looks pretty accurate that it's him reacting to octavius that like that does look like a post credit scene, but we've already seen him in a suit in through a few other shots, so maybe uh, not. No, I don't think there is much else. It's hard to spot a lie because it is so believable. Were there any quotes? Drones in this? did. Now everybody. Drones did. Oh. How do you tell someone that you're Spider Man? How do you tell someone that you're Spider Man? Now everybody knows. Oh, now everybody knows. About sure. But I'm not sure if that's a line that'll actually be said. This is hurting a lot of people. Yeah. I believe that because because he's I'm going sure. to Dr. Strange for help. Revealed my identity. My entire life got screwed up. Strange. My entire life got screwed up. World is about Can't some Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Well. About which <laughs> Careful what you wish for seems a bit weird. Parker. Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Oh, hello, Peter Parker. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> this looks like him appearing while Peter being attacked. Fair enough, yeah. Like he comes up mid-battle. Fair enough. So yeah, that was at the very least the cap off at the end of all of that big Marvel trailer analysis stuff. There was a lot more to go through with the Eternals because obviously there were so many trailers and there still are new TV spot slots. Uh, Spider-Man's only had one teaser trailer and it looks looks so far to be pretty close to the books but you know there's some weird compositing in places there's no room for webbing just yet and the quotes could be hit or miss for the most part but i'm sure as we see more trailers we will see more lies and i will probably cover them so do subscribe if you want to see that bonus extra little side content as well because i would absolutely recommend it but hey that's just me so i guess i would say that wouldn't i <laughs>